Here we have some rather tricky problems that involve perimeter and area of rectangular uh, surfaces. Let's take a look at this first one. It says the perimeter of a rectangular concrete slab is 82 feet. So the distance around this is 82 feet and its area is 364 feet. What is the length of the longer side of the slab? So let's go ahead and name these. We'll call them L and W, length and width. Now, we're going to start with two equations, one for perimeter and one for area. The one for area is pretty easy. It's just length times width equals 364. And the perimeter, you'll remember, is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. It's going to equal the perimeter. So 2L plus 2W equals, and they said that was 82. Okay. Now, we have two equations. This is a system of equations, two equations, two variables. We're going to solve this perimeter equation for one of them. I think I'm going to solve it for w by subtracting 2l from both sides. So we get 2w equals 82 minus 2l. And while I'm at it, I can simplify that a little bit. I can divide everything by 2. So this becomes w equals 41 minus l. Now this is what I'm going to put in place of w up here. So that area equation becomes l times 41 minus l equals 364. And that is a quadratic that we will solve to get our answers. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll multiply through. We're going to get a negative L squared plus 41L. And then if I subtract the 364, we'd get minus 364 equals 0. And at this point, if it were me, I'd probably um, uh, jump online and use a quadratic equation solver to find this one. And what you'll get is, um, although it does factor here, actually, you can get um, 28 and a 13 out of this. Yeah, but um, it, you'll find your answers are x equals 28 and x equals 13. And again, you don't, whoops, I just substituted x for l. l equals 28, l equals 13. Um, since we were looking for the longer side, it's going to be 28. You've actually found the width by doing this too. And if you look back at the equations, um, if we had done this for solve for L versus solving for W, it would have amounted in the same numbers. So this is your length. This is actually going to be your width in the problem. They were asking for the length, so our answer is 28. All right, let's try another one. This one says the width of a rectangle is 2 inches less than its length. So let's think about that. Here's length. Our width is 2 inches less than that, so it's L minus 2. And the area is 99. So we can set this up pretty easily. The area is the length times the width, so it's L times L minus 2, and that equals 99. We've already got our quadratic here. So this is L squared minus 2L, and I'll subtract the 99. And let's see, I think this one's fairly easy to factor. Yeah, so I think that's L minus 11 and L plus 9. So we get solutions of L equals 11 or L equals negative 9, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have a negative number there. Uh, so we'll go with L equals 11. and. But let's look at what this problem was asking. It says, what is the width? Well, the width is 2 inches less than that. So 11 minus 2, that equals 9. And that's our answer on that one. All right, one more of these tricky ones. So this problem says, two of the local ranchers are bragging about their ability to use fencing sparingly. Bob says that he was once able to fence in a rectangular pasture of 12,400 square feet with only 440 feet of fencing. So you can imagine that would be useful to use as little fence as possible and get as much area as you can. Fencing is expensive. Susan says she was able to fence a, in a rectangular pasture of 16,700 square feet with only 520 feet of fencing. Which one is lying? Oh, okay, apparently one of them is lying and we're going to find out who Let's take a look at, at uh, what Bob says first. And we can use our, our perimeter and area equations here. The, the length of the fence that he used is going to be the perimeter. So for the rectangular area that Bob fenced in, it's going to be 2L plus 2W equals 440. And if we solve that for um, 
for w and divide by 2, we would get w equals 220 minus l. So I just subtracted 2l from both sides and then divided by 2 to get that. And then we can put that in our area equation and see if it makes sense. So area is length times width. So that's going to be l times the width here, which is 220 minus l. And that's going to equal what he said was 12,400. Now, if I find a real solution for L, then uh, it will work, and he will have been telling the truth. So I'll go ahead and multiply this through. I get negative L squared plus 220L, and I'll subtract 12,400 here equals zero. And if you plug this in to a quadratic equation solver, or if you just try, uh, calculate the discriminant, that would be 220 squared minus... 4 times negative 1 times negative 12,400. What you find there is that our discriminant is negative, so there are no real roots here. And what that means is that this guy was lying. There's no solution that makes this work. You can't take 440 square feet or feet of fencing and make uh, a 12,400 square foot area. One other way to go about this one which makes it a lot easier if you know a secret. That secret is if you're making rectangular shapes, the shape that is most efficient at increasing the area is a square when all the sides are equal. So you could take this perimeter, divide it by 4, so that's 110, and then that's one length of one of the sides of the square. If you square that, you uh, would get um, the maximum area that could be fenced in there. So let's see, 110 squared, that's 12,100 feet. So that's the most you could possibly fence in in area with uh, 440 feet of fencing. And he's claimed 12,400, so he's definitely lying. Now, let's check Susan's too. We found out um, Bob was lying, and from the way the question is phrased, it says which one is lying. But we want to double check. Maybe it's a trick question. Um, Susan says she was able to fence in a, a rectangular pasture of 16,700 with 520 feet of fencing. You can do the same thing, make the quadratic with the perimeter and the area equations, or let's just do our shortcut. 520 divided by 4, that's 130, and 130 squared is 16,900. So if she had done this the most efficient way, she could get 16,900. She's only claiming 16,700, so it's definitely possible that she would be able to do that. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.